Hi everyone. This video tutorial will show you how to check the status of your students, whether or not they have any domains that are already shut off, or if you have any students that need support with some lessons because they're about to be shut off. So the first thing to do is when you log into iReady, when you're on the main dashboard, if you look under instruction, it will show you how many students may need assistance. For instance, in this example, we have six students that need support with their lessons. And we also have two students who already have domains that are shut off. So how do we go about checking further into that? What to do is to scroll down below where it says monitor personalized instruction. If you click on the link here, it will bring you into their personalized instructional summary. If you scroll below that, we will see the little stop sign with the X in it. That means this student has been shut off. If this happens, then no lessons will be assigned to students. That's because two lessons have been failed twice in the same domain. Our student down here who has like the warning sign has failed one lesson two times. If they fail one more lesson two more times, then they would end up with the stop sign with the X in it. So these are the students that need some assistance. So if we, if we click onto the student, it explains to us that the student did not pass two consecutive lessons twice within the same domain. Okay. So that's our little explanation to resolve that situation. We will scroll down here and let's see what domain or domains are shut off. It shows us that this student's phonological awareness domain has been shut off. So two lessons fail twice in the same domain. That's why it's shut off. So in this instance, we're going to need a teacher to provide some intervention for this student in order to continue. Okay. Um, so we can see this is a lesson that they did not pass. Find and say ending sounds. And you can preview it here by clicking on the link. Okay. And to turn the domain on, I just click this plus, it turns into a minus, and you can turn the domain on. But before you turn the domain on, you're going to want to explore the resources that are available in iReady. And for instance, if this gives us all the different mini lesson plans, they call them tools for instruction that can help assist with the student. So these should be looked at prior to turning the domain on. I hope you find this video tutorial helpful and thank you for watching.